Kristen, thank you so much for being here. Do you remember where we met? Was it New York or was it the Aspen Comedy Festival? My first memory of you was New York City. We were filming our half hour Comedy Central specials. It was you, me, and John Mulaney, and you were nice. I was. Okay, so you've got a foggy memory. <laughs> we did meet at the Aspen Comedy Festival. That was before the half hour, where mm -hmm. you won Best Alternative Comedian. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I guess I was so busy winning that I don't really remember you. Yeah, yeah, you won Best Alternative Comedian, which I think was an award they invented that year for me. just to piss me off. I think they just invented it because I blew everyone's mind so much. Because of how alternative you were? Yeah, a... alternative is gonna come back just like Nirvana. Was it Nirvana alternative? I got some bad news for you about Nirvana. <laughs> Kurt Cobain is dead. But you could have a, a Nirvana. A heart attack, I think. Oh, was it a heart attack mm -hmm. to his guts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you think that if I had won Best Alternative Comedian that year instead of you, that I would be a guest on your show? I'm wondering what you think is alternative about your comedy. In that it's just different? In that it just follows a typical stand-up format and you never play with the rules of comedy or stand-up. I think I'm like on the, on, the, on the verge of alternative, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like if alternative was a high school, yeah. I'd still be alternative, but I'm one of the jocks in the alternative high school. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whereas you'd be like playing a clarinet yeah. Um, all right. But did you, I was trying to remember again if you won mm. at the Aspen Comedy Festival. No, I didn't. I'm going to move on for the sake of ratings. Um, yes. Kristen, your Twitter bio says comedian, actress, writer. Why that order? Well, I guess because when I started that Twitter account, I was doing comedy the most, stand-up, because um, I think I started it in 2009. But what I really wanted to be was an actress, and I was doing just a little bit of that. And then I just added writer. Yeah, just to, like, <laughs> just throw people off? Makes you seem smarter. Have you ever I written anything? I do have anything? a published book, yes. You do? I wrote it with my husband, Rich Blomquist, and it's called The Sexy Book of Sexy Sex, and it is out of print, and they will not be making more copies. Uh, I would love to read it. Next question, mm. Kristen. Fill in the blank. IMDB says your trademark is playing sweet-natured but blank characters. Ooh. I would say sweet-natured, but with an unexpected storm on the horizon. You changed the whole sentence uh, just to make us believe you don't read your own IMDb. Unstable. I was oh, going wait, for no, sweet-natured, but unstable characters. It does? Mm-hmm. And you failed. I don't think I failed. I think I said the same thing. Un unstable? You think a storm is stable? I asked you to parallel park, and you got out of the car and ran away. No, you asked me to parallel park, and I let my Tesla do it for me. I stand corrected. I have a question for you. Please. <laughs> when you write your comedy jokes, mm -hmm. they're so good. Mm -hmm. Do you think of the twist before you write it? Or do you think of the premise first and then just like scramble your brain for the twist? The latter. I think of the premise and I think how many different ways it can go and then what's like the meanest, most unexpected, yet still makes sense way. Yeah. Yeah. You're great. Thank you. You're welcome. One of the best alternative comedians of all time. There's no just what nothing the year. alternative about what you do. I think if I didn't exist, if I hadn't been born, yeah. alternative comedy would not be a thing. <laughs> I just, you can have alternative comedy. Thank you. But it doesn't belong to you. I would like the award. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Okay.